The work of human rights defenders is absolutely essential for peace, for justice, and for inclusive, cohesive communities. Marino who's, is somebody who's been defending the rights of Afro-Colombian uh, people, some of the most marginalised people in Colombia for uh, more than a decade. Such an armed conflict where lots of people were uh, killed and disappeared and tortured, he fought for, the, for their rights. For him it's important that we all hear that there isn't one singular community that matters, it isn't one singular issue that matters. If you want a peaceful, prosperous Colombia. He has experienced terrible human rights violations. He's been uh, chucked out of his land and had to flee into the city. In fact, the pressure because of economical development, the pressure of paramilitary military groups in these areas and on the land owned by these communities is, is growing tremendously. And Marino is working with them, helping them to uh, reclaim their land and return home. And he's doing that at the, almost the cost of his life. He's been persecuted, he's been uh, uh, threatened, shot at. His son has been killed. Here you have a guy who decided to leave a place of safety, to return to a place of great danger for him, to carry on his work. As we see the amount of killings of human rights defenders after the peace deal going up, there's no peace without human rights defenders. There's at the moment no peace for human rights defenders. There will be no peace without human rights defenders. And it's required a lot of personal strength and deep commitment um, to human rights and wanting to ensure that the voice not only of Afro-Colombians but other ethnic minorities that their voices are heard.